right, guys, it's, uh, yeah, it's Big Bear, 77. Not feeling too good. <clears throat> Very itchy throat. Um, got really cold last night, and, uh, yeah, it just, the, nothing was working. I mean, our heaters were working. Nothing was working. So not feeling very good today. So I'm going to make this as quick as possible. The intro's over. Let's go to the video. It's Vlogmas Day 2. We're going to do a little bit of an encouragement video. So be encouraged. Hashtag be encouraged. Let's go. Roll it. Come on. Hey, guys. Um, let me fix the camera. I... We haven't been feeling good, so everything's kind of off track, and I uh, almost went ahead and skipped today, but this is Vlogmas Day 2, and I wanted to get something up for you guys. And this is really a serious talk and a, a little bit of encouragement to go along with this, since it is Encouragement Saturday. <clears throat> so let's get right to it. I'm going to make it as quick as possible. Let me give you a little bit of backstory of where this uh, is coming from. Uh, several years back, I lived in a town called Tempe, Arizona. You guys may know where it is. It's right there in, in Phoenix. Right there, right outside of Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, anyways, there's a mall there called the Arizona Mills. Me and my family, we were going to go shopping one day. And so we were going to stop off in the food court and get something to eat. And I saw something that really disturbed me. And this isn't the first time I've seen this. Um, and I'm not for sure if it was the same girls or not. Because they, I mean, a lot of these uh, teenage, early 20 girls, they look a lot alike. So I, I, I couldn't tell you if it was the same girls. But at a Walmart... Prior to that, about a couple days before that, I had seen the same thing. And it really was disturbing because in this mall, there's this guy walking and he's wearing, um, I don't know how to put it, like beat up clothes, holes in them, real dirty. I mean, he looks dirty. He looks like he may have not showered for a while. Um, looks like maybe he doesn't have a place to live. Or maybe he's just trying to get into the warmth of the mall. The, you know, be a little warmer than it is outside. Because um, that day it was actually pretty cold for an Arizona day. But anyways, uh, so we were in the mall and I was watching these girls because they kept snickering. And I was like, maybe they're just snickering. Maybe they're telling a funny joke to each other. I don't know. Uh, you know, I try to think of good about everybody. But then they start making comments about how he smells, how maybe we should maybe we should pass him up because this is nasty. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Um, about his clothes, about his appearance, the way his hair was all mangled and everything about the the dirt all over the place, and how he's not going into any shops because he's poor. And they, they're having a they thought they were having this great the their greatest day. They get to they get to downgrade someone else because their life is so perfect. Um. And I was sitting there, and I, you know, I, I'm, I'm getting mad as it is. And this guy, God bless his heart, said not one word to them. Uh, he was ignoring them. And you know he had to hear, because they were saying it loud enough for him to hear. Like they were trying to get a reaction out of him. Uh, like they thought that would have been funny. Um, and most, most people who do stuff like that, that's what they're trying to do. Get a reaction out of you. If you respond, you just made the day. Uh, it's their, it's their uh, you know, some people are addicted, addicted to sex, drugs, alcohol. These people like this are addicted to uh, reactions from you. So, um, but this guy made no response to them. He kept ignoring them. And, you know, when I, when I tried to pass them up and I looked, tried to see him a little bit, I could see maybe he was getting annoyed a little bit. But he wasn't saying a word. And part of it could have been that, you know, someone like that, if he would have turned around and said something, unfortunately, with the society we live in, mall security probably would have came down on him more than he would have, they would have the girls for doing what they were doing. Unfortunately. Well, he may not have been able to say anything and choose not to say anything, but um, I couldn't keep my mouth shut. So I did uh, tell the girls, basically, you know, maybe if your mama had raised you right, uh, you would know that this is very disrespectful. Um, grow up, stuff like that. You know, the basic stuff. I wanted to call them a few choice words, but I chose not to start uh, that inside a mall. I didn't want to get kicked out, okay? But um, I was a little upset, though. And these, so these girls just turn on me and they start talking about my weight and stuff like that really hurts me because, you know, I make YouTube videos. I'm used to people commenting about my weight. It's just how it is. Um, but anyways, this really got me thinking, though. 
that we don't we need to what we need to do is lift out our uh, carrying arms or uh, dig deep down into our carrying hearts and help these folks now I have a personal policy I don't go out and give people money um, it's just the way I am uh, but that does not stop me from helping them I will buy them something to drink something to eat whatever it may be you know if I have extra clothes we do a uh, like a uh, yard sale type business if I have extra clothes I'll give them the clothes I have no problem with taking out my store what we have open here and giving it to them because that's who I am what we need to do during this holiday season you know you should do it all the time but especially during this holiday season remember that there are some people that are less fortunate than you remember that there are some people that have fallen on hard times times that you've never seen there are some people that don't have a warm place to go to while you're sitting by your warm fire cuddled up on your couch watching your Netflix remember that there are people out there who are struggling struggles you may never see at least you hope and pray you will never see them so during this holiday season step out of your comfort zone talk to one of them buy them a cup of coffee buy them hot chocolate buy them something to eat or hey go to your local soup kitchen your local mission our church does cakes for the mission once a week they deliver cakes for Thanksgiving they delivered pies and it's something neat because you're giving back to the community you say you love you're giving back to those people who have fallen on hard times and, and you know sometimes you fall on hard times because of yourself but you know when you do change a lot of people don't want to give you a second chance and I don't believe in that I believe everybody deserves chances so step out of your comfort zone reach out that caring hand help someone up be the shoulder for them to cry to be the ear for them to talk to during this holiday season uh, and I'm sorry for going a little serious with this vlog, but this is something that I've been prepared for and needed to speak on, and I wanted to wait till Vlogmas to do it. Um, hopefully, you guys, uh, you guys do go do that, and don't do it for views. Don't go out there with the camera in everybody's face, going, "Oh, look what I'm doing." You know, if if you record it, that's fine. I'm not going to say nothing because I I don't know where your heart is on that point. But don't go out there recording it for the views. Go out there and do it because your heart's telling you to, because it's the right thing to do. That's all I got. I'm going to get on out of here. Um, this is Big Bear. You know, all the stuff. Yeah. Like, comment, like, comment, subscribe. <clears throat> this Don't video went. The bell. This, yeah, the bell for notified of every time a video gets uploaded. Sorry, no excitement in this video. My throat is really itchy. This video actually went longer than I wanted it to. Um, but just remember that there are people out there less fortunate than you. Be that encouraging hand, that encouragement that they might need, that cup of coffee, that hot chocolate, that meal, maybe that jacket. It's getting cold, guys. Maybe that person needs a jacket to keep warm. You guys are the key to changing this world. You guys are the key to making this world a better place to live in. But it's your choice. This is Big Bear. I'm out.